hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're looking at capital versus operational expenditure. So on the left-hand side, we have CapEx, so capital expenditures. On the right-hand side, we have operational expenditures, OPEX. And so looking at the left-hand side, capital expenditure is spending money up front on physical infrastructure. So deducting the expenses from your tax bill over time, a lot of companies, especially larger companies, are used to dealing with capital expenses, and they know how to work their tax bill. So that's why a lot of people are afraid to move over to the cloud because they're used to this way of operating. But let's talk about some of the things that would be considered a capital expense. So again, it's anything that's physical and then you're buying it with money up front. So computers, that would be your server costs. If you were to buy hard drives, it'd be your storage costs. If you bought routers, cables, or switches for your network. If you're purchasing things for backup and archive costs. If you had disaster recovery, so like an uninterruptible power supply would be an example of that. You have your data center costs, so that's your rent, cooling, physical security. You have technical personnel, so you're hiring people to do things for you. And so with capital expenses, you have to guess up for what you plan to spend. Now let's look at operational expenditure. So operational expenditure is the cost associated when an on-premises data has shifted that cost to the service provider. So here in this case, it's the cloud service provider and the customer only has to be concerned with non-physical costs. So what are some examples of OPEX costs? Well, leasing software and customizing features, training employees in cloud service, services, paying for cloud support, billing based on the cloud metrics, so compute usage and storage usage. And the advantage here is that operational expenses, you can try a product or service without investing equipment. So we have flexibility of investment, and also from the previous slide covering total cost of the ownership, we saw that we have a huge reduction cost. So those are two really good reasons to use the cloud.